The clerk at Renison is going to tell you to go pound salt. The contract says $51.12. You will pay me $51.12, or I'm going to have the Rockbridge Carry Sheriff's Department come to your house with a warrant in debt, and they're going to come in, and they're going to have a writ of attachment, and they're going to drag that sofa out of your house. So now, are you going to pay the $51.17 you owe, or what? He said, well, all I can do is 30 He says, well, you know what? We'll see you in court in 21 days. We'll come up with the money. And he said, well, he said, is that what he said, Call. And they're going to drag me into court. I said, you want to win? Just relax. I said, who did you call to be a witness? I said, I got James Best. I said, okay, that's good. He's a nice guy. I know who he is. So when I went before the court, I said, uh, he said he, me and my sister uh, came down the road, and he, him and his buddy stopped us and handed us a watermelon. I guess that was his payment for uh, me helping him win. Mm-hmm. He said, well, it worked exactly like you said, Call. I was like, why? He says, uh, well, we got in front of the judge. And he said, yep, the little red-headed lady was the attorney for the Renaissance. I said, oh, yeah, she's a mean one. I said, she's, she'll take the 90-year-old lady's sofa or her bed right from under her butt. She don't care. I said, yep, I know how she was going to move in court. So I said, what happened? She said, the, the, the Renaissance said, the lady said, presented the contract, presented like 10 copies of it, had all kinds of secure documents and everything else attached to this. Uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt, there was no doubt about it. I owe $50.17. Had all kinds of proof on all, thousands of documents to back up her, 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 her claim that that sofa should be fucking, uh, should be brought back to Renaissance immediately. I said, so then what happened? He said, well, he said, I told the judge what you told me. Tell him. He said, well, I tended her, the, 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 the boy at the desk, his name was, uh, say, Charles, uh, $30. And he told me, uh, you will pay what it says or we are going to come and take it away. So he said, well, what's this guy? He said, well, he's my witness. He heard me say it to the clerk. He said, did you witness this man say to the clerk? What did the clerk say to him? He said, you bring us back to the damn sofa or we're uh, going to drag your ass into court. So then uh, he said to the rent the lady, will you accept $30 payment a month for the next 10 months until he pays us off? She said, no. He said, case dismissed. Enjoy your sofa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Simple. He didn't bring no documents. He didn't write no uh grand manifesto that you folks are doing. He didn't do no studying. He didn't talk to any freaking lawyer. He didn't read any freaking books. I said, this is the law of the land. Whoever brings the controversy into the public has already got a strike against them. So Renaissance did, because this man was willing to settle a matter on a private side. Mm-hmm. He said that he's moving into his best faith because uh, he was tied on money. And until he could come back on his feet and get back to paying $50 a month, the best he could do is 30 and then he, the judge did in open court say, will he accept the dirty and accept this man, his word, that he doesn't really have a job right now, can't afford it. Will he accept his partial payment to settle the debt? She said no. He said case dismissed. 